Hey, welcome back, it's Langs. For this week, I wanted to do a bit of a life update video slash overshare video. I feel like it's been a while since one of those, so I feel like this week was a good time to get back at it. I just wanted to share a little bit about the creative process lately and how it's been like navigating, still being creative, but also working a lot. <laughs> making art and making music, but also like working multiple jobs at the same time. Lately, it's just felt like pretty hard to get into the creative zone. I mean, it's still, I'm still doing it. Luckily, I have these weekly sessions where I work on the album and I'm continuously working on it very slowly, but things have been pretty go, go, go lately. I have a morning job and then I have a night job. I use the time in between to like, do the thing. Designating specific time to actually work on the music has been so helpful and like so imperative for me because otherwise I don't know if I like could do it all right now. I wanted to talk about like specifically for YouTube. It's been really hard for me to like stay on it and I'm sure you guys have maybe noticed in, in what I'm making. Like I'm kind of scattered. I'm putting out videos of all different types of things and a lot less often every two weeks I'm shooting for right now. I've always like planned my videos pretty much immediately before filming them. I usually am like, okay, this is, will be my YouTube day. I'm going to brainstorm ideas and then just film them in the moment and just we'll see what happens by the end of it. Lately doing that has been like really not productive at all. And I feel like it probably shows to, through my videos a very obvious calling to reconnect with what I'm making and to feel passionate about it again. When it gets to a point where I feel like I'm just going through the motions to make something just to like post about it or like just to follow the schedule I made for myself, I never end up feeling good about things afterwards. I wanna feel like really excited about what I'm putting out. Sometimes you just don't. <laughs> And I know it ebbs and flows and it's not gonna be all good all the time. Like today, <laughs> most like mainly today and, and yesterday, I was just like, okay, I need to like step back and like look at the big picture here and figure out how to still be very present in, in the stuff I'm making and putting out into the world while still juggling a lot of different things at the same time. I know it's possible, I know people do it. It's been really hard for me to prioritize the music making and video making, the social media engagement when I have to physically be in a, many different places in a day. Um, and I say this because I teach, I teach outside of the home and there's a lot of like transportation to different places and a lot of places I need to physically and mentally be in a day it's been hard for me to like separate that work from the other like very important work that i want to do in my life i've made videos on this too and i know this is something that artists struggle with all the time i've always struggled with this this is not a new feeling it's just happening in a different way right now because i finally have a very solid work schedule i finally have a very stable income, which I was really working towards for a long time. With this comes a need to reconnect and reevaluate and reprioritize things and figure out how to make it all work. <laughs> I'd love to feel more present and more involved and more mentally just there and like aware of what I'm doing in the moment instead of thinking about like the five other things I need to do that day. And I need to just like fit this in before I can do that so I can just put it up and then, okay, we're done on to the next thing. And it's very possible. So I think, you know, the changing of the seasons, maybe it is daylight savings time, like the warmer weather, but I'm feeling this draw to reconnect and get back to why I've been doing this in the first place. I'd love to start incorporating more videos just about like daily life, maybe more vloggy type stuff, things that aren't just centered around being a musician because I think trying to stay in that niche is making it really hard for me to come up with ideas lately. And I know there's so much you can do, but also I feel like I don't wanna force myself to make something that I'm just not mentally present enough to make. So there's a really good chance that the next like batch of videos that you see from me will probably be pretty scattered all over the place. I'm gonna be starting to try different things or that's what I'm telling myself I want to do. I wanna get back to sharing more of the Simply 
just authentic journey that I'm taking to make this happen. And I feel like videos like this help me get there. There was definitely a time where making the YouTube videos felt like less like work than I'm making it right now. And I think if you're making content that is genuine and authentic to you, then it doesn't always feel like you're doing a job or you're doing a task just to get it done. YouTube has always been the place where I felt like I could build the most community and engagement and lately I just feel like I'm not doing that and that's definitely a sign for me to like kind of just take a step back and look at what's happening. So this is a call to reconnect with what you're doing, reconnect with what you're making. If you feel like you're going too fast, you probably are. If you're trying to fit in just so much, just to like fit it in, there's some reflection I think that needs to be done. When you can find the time to actually do that and allow yourself to fully kind of submit to that, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity and growth that can stem from it. And that's what I feel right now. Like I didn't need to like push myself or like force myself to do things that I usually do and that I could just take it take it easier and just let ideas flow and let things just be and it's crazy because I don't remember the last time I felt like this maybe slightly concerning but when you're just so like ah the next thing the next thing there's always something and, and you have that sort of mindset it's so hard to just like you know, freeze, <laughs> freeze and like chill for a second. It's okay that you're feeling like this or it's, it's okay that you feel like you need to take a step back and reflect and to reapproach and do things a different way. Those are all ways to grow. Those are all ways to change for the better and get closer to where you wanna be. I feel a change in the air. I feel, I feel excited again. And I think that's because I'm remembering why I did this and it's that passion, that motivation is coming back and that need to do what I really want to during my time here. I think the other thing I've been doing lately, which has been hindering progress, is cringing at myself a little too much lately. And I think I'm just simply judging myself far too much. When I first started making videos and like sharing a little bit more of my personality to social media in general, I remember feeling this like freedom of just simply not, <laughs> simply not caring how others would view me. And then I think I just got a little too invested in, in maybe how I was being perceived. I started thinking like, well, you know, how do I want to be perceived? Or like, do I want to come off like this type of person or this type of person or like kind of like sculpting my ideal image of myself and that didn't work either. I just stopped posting a lot. Like I've been pretty inactive on socials. Like, I don't know, more inactive than usual. And that's okay too. As someone who is generally pretty active, it felt weird to kind of like step away from it. But it was also because I was so like judgmental of myself. Very much invested in trying to look a certain way or be a certain thing for someone or whatever it was. I was just losing myself. That, I think that's the best way to maybe say it. I felt like I've been losing kind of connection with the core, my core being or my core self. And I know that happens. Again, I'm not like shaming or blaming myself for, for that feeling. I think that's gonna continuously happen again and again as you rediscover new things and rediscover your purpose and what you're trying to go for. I feel like I've been kind of blindly going through the motions, just surviving. And I've been missing that lust for, you know, creativity, creative euphoria that I've felt in the past that sometimes is just really, really hard to connect back with. I think the next steps for me right now are to stop being so judgmental of myself, first of all, reconnect with my passion and practice being more present and, and aware of what I'm doing in the moment, especially when I'm creating if I'm somewhere else when I'm creating, that's just the worst thing. Like that's when I know like, okay, let's reflect here. What's going on? And it's clear that I need to do a little check-in with myself. So yeah, definitely I've just been a little scattered mentally, but I'm looking forward to feeling and practicing more intentionally, creating with more intention and purpose and not like blindly just doing things, but reconnecting and listening to that call and listening to your gut feeling of needing to check in and backtrack and start again with a fresh perspective. 
think that's it. So that's just a bit of an update mentally. I am really excited about the music I'm making right now. I'm gonna be posting a lot more works in progresses as things progress on. But if you'd like to support me and hear like full versions of works in progress, please support me on my Patreon. I'll include the link here and in the description. But I post about why I'm writing these things, what, what the songs are about, lyrics, works in progress, polls that you can take part in to help me decide which version of the song to go with etc etc so if you want to be a part of that process please consider supporting my patreon it really helps i'm also accepting new songwriting and voice students online so if you are interested in booking a lesson with me please email me at linksmusic at gmail.com and we can set something up thank you so much for watching and if you're going through something similar i really hope this helps you navigate through the mush a little bit on your way to doing what you love to do and being happy about it and feeling feeling better just feeling better about things all right thanks again and i'll see you next time